What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and as you may already know, Patch Year 3 Season 4.2 is currently live on the Rainbow Six Siege test servers, and this patch includes some rebalancing for a handful of characters. Kavera, Clash, Kaed, Rook and Doc are all going to change somewhat in the future, and especially the Cav changes have been a source of a lot of discussion. The patch notes claim that she's getting nerfed, but is that actually true? Let's go and find out. This video is sponsored by Moot, a community platform dedicated to players of the world's most popular games. Basically, the platform offers you the opportunity to stay in touch with the communities of your favorite games by sharing the latest memes, guides, highlight videos and discussions, which are regulated by a simple up or down vote system that helps highlight the most relevant and entertaining posts. Now the platform also comes with a brand new looking for teammates feature. Let's say you're looking to get together a squad for Rainbow Six. You can do this by either creating a post or responding to an existing one. Filters include the platform and game mode you're looking to play and each post has a convenient comment section at the bottom where you can get in touch with your new team to arrange the first match. So if this sounds like something that would be useful to you, go ahead and click the appropriate link in the description below. Back to the patch notes and as you can see they are arranged in reverse order of complexity so why don't we start with the simple stuff at the bottom before working our way up. The MP5 used by both Rook and Doc is getting a max damage nerf from 30 points down to 27. This will make this version of the MP5 the weakest of the three types with Mute's MP5K and Echo's MP5SD remaining at 30 points I double check to be sure. After the drop off the GIGN MP5 will now do 18 points of damage down from 20, so that's basically a 10% decrease at all ranges. What does this mean in terms of the gun's combat efficiency? Well, in this chart I have calculated the number of shots required to down or kill an opponent at all ranges for all three armor types. The average kill distance in Siege is just below 10 meters and as you can see, up to a distance of 19 meters there is no change against level 1 and 3 armor opponents while level 2 armors will already require one shot extra. Once you get out to long range spawn peaks of 25-26 meters plus, you will need one extra shot against all three types of armor. So even though this nerf is only 2 or 3 points damage less, we can see that the effect is quite significant, especially when we consider that level 2 armor is the most common character type on the attacking side, and spawn peaks are going to become just that little bit harder against all 3 types of attackers. Moving up the patch notes, we can see that Kaed's Org A3 SMG is getting a faster aim down sight time of 300 milliseconds instead of the old 450 milliseconds. This brings the gun in line with all of the other SMGs, and to me that makes perfect sense. There was no reason for the Org Para to be the only SMG in the game to have the slow ADS time, and the new time should have really been in the game from the very start of the season. On to Clash and she is getting a pretty decent buff that will turn her SPSMG9 into a quasi primary weapon by giving it full auto capability. This will allow Clash to be a little more independent which is an important improvement for players that tend to solo queue and don't always have the luxury of being able to play with reliable teammates. I do find it a little bit of a shame though that Clash's P10C pistol is basically becoming redundant because why would anyone choose to run a sidearm when you can pick a full auto SMG instead? But that aside, let's look at what the changes mean for Clash's combat effectiveness. Full auto instead of 2 round burst, new recoil with 40 extra bullets to carry. Relatively straightforward and as you can see in the background, the new recoil will actually stay quite manageable up until the 7th shot of a burst. From shot number 8 onwards, the recoil can become quite unpredictable but as long as you're aware of that and you time your bursts accordingly, you should be able to control the gun just as easily as before. And to round things off, the SMG9 is also getting a 10% damage buff across the board from 30-20 to 33-22. A 10% decrease for the MP5 made a significant difference, but the same is not true for the SMG9. As you can see, against level 1 and 2 armor opponents, the required shots to down or kill stays exactly the same both at short and long range, with only minor differences at mid ranges. The only real benefit we will see for Clash is against level 3 armor attackers, so that's Montagna, Fuse and a couple of the recruits. That's it. 
basically, the damage upgrade is nice to have when dealing with opponents that have already lost just the right amount of health for it to make a difference, but against full health opponents, you're going to benefit only against a small group of operators. And finally, the most controversial changes of all. Cavera is getting a major damage nerf to her pistol, a change in damage drop-off, a recoil increase and an increase in hipfire spread. I compared the hipfire spread before and after the nerf and we will basically have to deal with a 50% increase in spread at all distances. This definitely makes hip firing less viable for Cav from now on. As you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison, the recoil increase is also no joke. After the patch goes live, we will face more vertical recoil for each shot, plus the gun will have a distinct tendency to wander off to the left, whereas it used to stay relatively straight. Three less bullets per magazine is not a huge change in and of itself, but it just adds that little bit of an extra burden to Cav players going forward. Long pre-fire bursts or taking out three or more opponents in one mag will become just that little less viable from now on. For the damage nerf, let's go straight back to the spreadsheet and as you can see, not only are the minimum and maximum damage numbers changing, but the drop-off curve is getting pushed back quite a bit. As of the current test server build, the damage drop-off will start at 12 meters, like for all other pistols, but it is very shallow and won't bottom out until around 35 meters, making the Luison actually more powerful at mid-ranges from 16 to 31 meters. This means that we get a mixed effect on the required number of shots to down. As long as you're hitting upper body shots at the average combat distance of 10 meters or less, there will be no change at all against any of the three armor types. You will still get a down in two shots. Leg shots are a different matter though. With those, you will already need more hits even up close. As already mentioned, at medium ranges, the new drop-off makes the Luison more powerful, but once you get out to those really long ranges of 33 meters plus, you will notice that the new damage stats are very weak and you will need a whole bunch of extra hits, even if every shot hits the upper body. So, nerf or buff? Well, the Luison is becoming harder to control, it will have less ammo and it will be significantly weaker at very long ranges. And even at close range, you will need to be more accurate in future because two leg shots just won't be enough to get it down anymore. Yes, at medium ranges from around 16 to 31 meters, depending on the armor type of your opponent, you will occasionally need up to two shots less to get it down, and that's with upper body shots. But all in all, once you add all of the changes to the gun together, I would still call this a nerf. Cav players will need to be a bit more accurate and will need a bit more manual recoil control in order to remain as effective as they are now, but I do believe that skilled players will adapt to these changes pretty quickly. And that's it! What are your thoughts on these balancing changes now that you have a deeper insight into what they will mean for us? Leave your comments below! As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode!